Hey guys, welcome to Redbeard Productions and Computer Programming 1. Um, so let's kind of talk about what topics we're going to be covering because um, my classes run a lot differently than normal traditional classes. Okay, so for Computer Programming 1, um, well, for all my computer programming classes, we use processing. And processing is really kind of like if art and uh coding kind of came together and decided to have a baby. Um, that's what processing is. So processing is kind of um, joining different art concepts into actually coding so that we get to be creators, you know, right at the start, being able to build stuff. Um, so using that, I build you guys up as if you have no experience with computer coding um, in any language. Okay, so we start, you know, at the very, very start, we start learning P5JS, which is just a library using processing on top of JavaScript. You guys will be learning JavaScript with me. Um, and I start you out, you know, first creating an account and then how to use it. And then you guys are going to start learning how to, like, draw stuff to screen so that you can actually start doing that. You'll use that to build, like, kind of some art projects and drawings. Um, and then we can start learning about variables and the, the built-in variables that are already in P5.js, like the variables to hold the mouse position so we know where the mouse is on the screen. We could use that to do different cool things in our projects. Um, you also learn how to create your own variables to be able to um, really start to be the controllers of your environment. You guys can actually start creating all kinds of cool stuff as soon as you start learning just a few concepts. Um, so after we get into variables, then we learn how to branch our code to, you know, do this or this. And that all comes from learning conditionals. And they're really easy to learn. Uh, and they allow us to do more complex things. Um, and then we start kind of getting into uh, functions. Functions are used for... Um, really kind of helping to organize our code, but also to make it so that we could possibly reuse that code instead of having to write it multiple times. Um, and then towards the end of the course, you guys are going to learn about simple objects. So instead of like having a whole bunch of variables to describe something, I could actually start looking at something and saying, hey, this is a ball. Uh, the ball has a color. The ball has a size. The ball has a weight. The ball has a position in my world. And I can design it like that as a simple object. Um, and we'll also learn about DOM objects, document object, model objects. So because JavaScript is kind of a, a web browser based language, um, it will allow us to have more user interaction in the term of like being able to have the user pick their own colors for certain things, um, being able to have the user use sliders um, and dials and buttons to be able to make certain design um, changes or options in your guys' video games or any of that stuff. Um, it just increases that user interaction, gives the user more control. So you guys will be creating games with me. Um, and as we get enough code, then I introduce you to different topics of games that we can do. Um, you guys are also open to being able to pick your guys' final projects. So um, we do have a selection process for you guys to be able to kind of design what you want your final project to be. That will still... Um, uh, show your growth for the entire semester of the various topics that we have learned. So a lot of students have been able to create some really cool stuff over the years. Okay, I'm excited that you guys are part of Computer Programming 1. You guys are really going to like it. Good luck. Have fun.